Okay, guys, there's a new trailer here that just dropped. Diablo 4, Vessel felt it the next chapter, eight minutes ago. Let's watch it on the official Diablo account. Let's go. Inside the game. Vessel of Hatred is the next big chapter in the story of Diablo 4. When we last left off, we had defeated Lilith, That's and right. Mirel was sailing south with Mephisto Soulstone in hand. This is a tremendous burden for someone as young and untrained as Nayrell. But somehow, she has found the will to fight, challenging the primeval every step of the way. Such a sick song. In this expansion, we follow their path as Nayrell seeks salvation from Mephisto and searches for a way to banish him back to the Abyss. As we wrap up Diablo 4, there has been a huge battle in hell between Anarius, the Cathedral of Lights, and Lilith, and all of her demons. Throughout this entire campaign in Diablo 4, you're basically trying to defeat Lilith, so you team up with people like Nayrell, who's this young, eager character. And then you've got Laura, who is this sort of wise drunk. He was a Hrodrum, so he brings this rounded, old school thinking. He ends up being That's the catalyst of, of the group. Inarius believed that if he killed Lilith, he would be accepted again by heaven. So he went after Lilith. He actually stabbed her, and heaven did not take him back. And he had this moment of, I've been wrong this entire time, and she used that against him and ended up killing Inarius. The you belong in hell scene. Her goal was to devour her father, Mephisto, and we ended up actually stopping her. And so even though she was defeated, she kind of gave us a warning of, I was the only one that could actually save you from Mephisto. Nayrell is left with the Soul Stone, and she decides to take the essence of Mephisto and trap him into the Soul Stone. Lorath is still with us and is going to try and help us find information on where Nayrell went. And so we leave off with her sailing south with the stone telling you- like, Am I the only one that thinks it's like not the smartest that they split up? Like I, I'm not deep into the lore, but like why did they not stay together? Like if, if they all three went, like like the hero of the main story in Narelle and Lothrak, like they just go together, face Mephisto, <laughs> I think that would have been a bit smarter. Do not follow. The world might need you. And over time, things start to unfold, and you realize that Nayrell cannot do this alone. And so you yeah, no shit. You start your search for her. Like she wanted to do two plays on her cell phone, but why? When we pick up in Vessel of Hatred, the Cathedral of Light is kind of in disarray. It became a bit fractured with the death of Narius, so there was a bit of a split with the Cathedral of Light afterwards. This created an opening for a whole new sect to rise up and take things into their own hands. And so you end up with a militant wing of the church that is the Burnt Knights. Burnt Knights Dude, even in Diablo, we have politics. <laughs> a militant part of the church taking up politics in their own hands, taking charge. There's politics everywhere, guys. You can't escape it. They're led by Yurvar, a survivor of hell. He's uncompromising. He feels that he's final judgment and that he's going to make better decisions. For he's the dictator of Sanctuary Church. They battled in hell and now they're on this manhunt for right. Nayrell and for Lorath. They want them to pay for their crimes and they think that they should be the ones that have a say in what happens to Sanctuary. Mephisto is the Lord of Hatred. He's probably the... Ah, we so gonna kill this guy. Come on. Mephisto. This is like the good old Diablo 2 resurrected cutscenes. Mephisto is the Lord of Hatred. He's probably the one primeval that can create the most deep-rooted chaos, breaking up the people of Sanctuary. In the events of Diablo 2, he was destroyed. He's been slowly resurrecting himself in hell, and he wants to come back and bring himself back to Sanctuary. And now that he is in this soul stone we that gotta put him down. carries, this is his opportunity. So the Herald of Hatred is Mephisto's wolf form. It's this astral projected form that he gets to. This is how I always tell the story, guys, because I don't know much about the lore. Basically, as far as I know, the story of Diablo 4's expansion will be Mephisto turned into a dog the players, like we all, we didn't pet the well-behaved dog enough, so he got mad and he destroyed Sanctuary. That's it. 
put out and gotta pet the dog player and whisper in people's ears the connection between narell the player and mephisto is the fate of the world i was right all along wants to get rid of him but the more time she spends with the stone the tighter the bond between her and the stone is the corrupting influence of Mephisto's soul stone is going to potentially convince her to bring Mephisto back instead of destroy him like she originally wanted. So we need to actually make sure that she fulfills her original intent and doesn't fall to Mephisto's influence. Too late for that. Nyrell plans to bring the soul stone into the Vault of Light so she can purify the soul stone of Mephisto's essence. The Vault of Light is this really sacred place that Akarat created. His presence is really important. Yo. We've never seen this, right? Man, is this gonna be the arena? Where we fight Mephisto? A really secret place Akarat created. Now we know that the altars of Lilith are now called Pentant of Akarat or something sacred place that Akarat created. His presence is really important through the history of Sanctuary. Secret Akarat Darkland. wandered the world speaking the teachings of the Zacharum faith. His tomb is also said to be in the Vault of Light, which is in Nahantu. Akarat is the one who discovered the spirit realm. When the world stone was Whoa. forged and Sanctuary came out of it, this veil was created, and that's what created the spirit realm. Demons aren't there, angels aren't there. It's a very special place for humanity. And for a long time, the spirit realm was not touched. And now Mephisto's corruption is creeping its way. I and mean, that's the fear that everybody in Nahantu is thinking about. Spirituality is really Dude, unique look is so to humanity. And in the jungle, it's a big part of their culture. Eru is this elder, this magical being, a spirit born, and he's really connected to the, the grandpapa. This is his home. This is his ancestral lineage. Y'all. Really connected to Nahantu. This is his home. This is his ancestral. He's such a grandpapa. Deckard Kane, come back. <laughs> Stay a while and listen lineage and he's guiding the player on this journey to help Nairel. We actually find out that there have been sightings of Nairel in Nehantu and we end up following her there. In Vessel of Hatred, this is a story about isolation. We start off with the concept that Nairel is trying to do this alone, but at some point you realize that things are escalating and so we morph from this idea of isolation into the idea of being stronger together. She should have For never, that has been like, the... no shit. She, she should have never gone alone. Like, stronger together, guys. Barb nation, strong together. Like, going SSF just isn't the way, man. Journey that our wanderer has, that Nyrell has been through. Like, now we're searching you know, for her. There's hope that Sanctuary is not gonna be lost. You get to see pockets of sanctuary that we haven't been able to see before, but it's still all in that same tone, in that same world that everybody loves so much. Dang. Yeah, there it is, my friends. New trailer. Like, we have actually some, quite some new shots here that I like. Like dogs and when through. she's like arriving. I feel there's hope that sanctuary. Damn, the shots are really sick, man. Look, this is like Travinka, Kurast, something like that. Man. Shot an old man again? Uh, sure. But first of all, we had this area. It, I mean, I don't know about you guys. You can let me know in the comments, in the chat. This looks like a boss fight arena. Something along the lines, at least. Like, there could be, like... I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be Mephisto or wh whoever is gonna spawn here, but this looks very much like an arena where uh, we'd fight the bosses. Then we knew, like, we learned a bit more about the spirit realm. And we have Deckard Kane come back. 2.0. Yeah, I mean, this is like a grandpapa spirit born, basically, right? He has like the same tattoos that we saw in a lot of the artwork. <sighs> I don't know, man. I think my law explanation of how we didn't pet the Mephisto wolf and then he became mad and destroyed Sanctuary is pretty accurate. Yeah.
Still a better story than Twilight. <laughs> Let's go with the meme, dude. But yeah, looking good. I still think Nirel was uh, not the smartest of the bunch. Like, going alone. I mean, especially because it was like us, right? Like, the, the player that defeated uh, Lilith and uh, like she just like, like went solo. Like, on her own. It's like a bit, I mean, I'm not, I don't know much about the story, but for me, it's a bit hard to understand, like, Nirel's motivation just to, to go alone, you know? But yeah, the trailer is uh, looking good, man. Like, the hype will be building, guys. 20 days left. Just three weeks, under three weeks now. And it's gonna be here, ready to rock. Spirit born, lock in, man. It's gonna be... Yo, it's gonna be a ton of fun. Like, I think this class is gonna be... This class is gonna be lit, and I mean, no matter which class you like, right? Like, we're just gonna all bound together and destroy the Lord of Hatred. Mephisto. We'll see. I mean, like, 99% Mephisto is the final end boss, right? I don't think there's, there's another way. Let's go. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.